Okay, so why were the Clovis people so important to this story? Like, why why are we following this so closely? You know, we do know that the Clovis people were here and then they were gone. Uh, and that disappearance of that culture left behind clues that help us with the timing of this story. Again, that timing lines up directly with the Younger Dryas as well as the disappearance of a lot of megafauna across North America and other parts of the world. Now, people started to notice that there was a thin black line right on top of almost all of these Clovis sites that they were investigating. Now, this line right here is now referred to as the black mat layer, and basically anything below it is Pleistocene. You know, we find megafaunal remains, we find Clovis remains, things like that, but anything above it, it's all gone. It's all gone. Now, to the early to mid-2000s, a group of scientists got together and said, hey, let's, let's test the bottom of this black mat layer and try to figure out what happened that caused this very distinct division. They chose these Clovis sites to collect their samples because the Clovis sites are very well dated. We know that they mark the beginning of the Younger Dryas, so that's a huge start. Now, once they started to test and analyze these samples that they were taking at the base of the black mat layer, the results were very surprising and, and very telling. They started to find things like super microscopic nano diamonds. Uh, they were finding things like uh, carbon spherules that, that usually only occur at super high intense uh, temperatures. Uh, they started to find microscopic spherules uh, within the metallic grains and the metal grains that were in that sediment. Uh, all of these are very important indicators of impacts. Uh, they started to find a tremendous amount of impact proxies at the base of this black mat layer. Again, very, very, very telling. Now, probably the most important thing they found in their samples was elevated levels of platinum. Now, platinum is one of those metals that's pretty rare here on Earth, uh, but can be found in abundance in space debris, things like comets and, and asteroids. Now, this story may sound familiar because it wasn't until like the late 1990s that an extinction level event that took out the dinosaurs was caused by a cosmic impact, something that came in with high levels of iridium in that case, iridium and platinum are in the same group of metals. Uh, and, and now we know that it was an asteroid that took out the dinosaurs. And so this story, again, very, very, very familiar. So yes, indeed, it does appear that this group of scientists did find some really important clues as to what the cause of the Younger Dryas was, as well as the cause of the extinction of the Clovis people in the megafauna. In 2007, they wrote a paper, and we'll talk about that next.